Yeah. I, I think we have to reframe climate policy in, in a, a, a risk management framework the, the, that recognizes the uncertainties that are inherent in the science instead of sweeping them away, that actually brings to light the risks that are the significant risks that are inherent in the, uh, the uncertainties because, you know, the opponents of policy are certainly not going to uh, delve into those risks. Uh, and and we're, they're not on the table right now, and they're significant. Uh, this, you know, a framework that, that does not set up goals that are unachievable or probably are unachievable because that undermines the framework in and of itself. A framework that recognizes the potential for policy failures so that you have a way, you can devise a way of responding to those failures in advance. Uh, you need a, a policy uh, framework that's, that's flexible and can, can react to its successes and failures down the road. Um, and I think a risk management framework does all those things without losing the urgency, because in a risk management framework, it's the fundamentally the urgency that says, we have to do something now, this is a big problem, in spite of the uncertainty. So I, I think that would, reframing the debate in a risk management uh, context would help a lot.